Good afternoon, everybody. It's Carol here from Aquahaven747.com. Today, I am going to reorganize and style my office bookshelves here. They've gotten a little bit cluttered over time, and the last time I did a, a quick clean, I just kind of threw stuff back in there so I can see some things that need a little tweaking. So... I will put the camera down and get started. First thing I have to do is remove everything. I will show you some steps along the way and then a final reveal at the end. Good morning, everybody. Today I am going to work on this side of my book shelves. Uh, yesterday I started working on my office ones. They're not quite done, um, but I will show you uh, before and afters. Uh, at the end of the video. Good morning, everyone. I am finally ready to show you the after of my bookshelf styling for my office shelves here and for my entertainment shelves. And I have to apologize for not showing you the steps in between for this. Like I said, I was going to, uh, but I will try and uh, explain everything that I did and give you tips along the way. On the very top of my bookshelf up here, not too much has changed. I have just added one more little picture of my nephew, uh, but the glass jar and the pictures of my mom and the little angel are the same. On these two shelves here, uh, the three photo boxes on the top have not changed. I've got two for pictures and one for notebooks. But on the second shelf here, I have put some of my financial books. I've got my Tony Robbins books on this side and my Rich Dad, Poor Dad on the other and these few in the center. Uh, I've alternated vertical with the horizontal to add a little bit more interest and put that orb uh, decoration on top as well. And I've also added this um, artificial plant to hide the red books behind that because I didn't want them to stand out. Plus I did want to have a pop of green uh, to uh, balance with the other side, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Now these are the next couple of shelves down from that um, and very little on this shelf here, just those few books couple of bookends and a picture of me when I was much younger uh, modeling um, one of the outfits I designed for my fashion design um, course. And uh, I've decluttered this area a lot too. Um, streamlined a bunch of the binders and I will show you more of those um, at a later date. Um, my home management and budget binder and my home project binder and emergency binders so those are all going to be coming um, I keep my planners there and uh, the planners and notebooks over there as well those are the ones I am currently using so oh and of course I found my tissue box cover and even though it's kind of looks uh, maybe it looks a bit odd right there. It's handy for when I need it. Here on these uh, top two shelves on this side, I have um, got some of the bigger books up there uh, laid down. And um, one of them, uh, one of my feng shui books, I actually turned around so you see the paper side because I did not want to see the red binding on it. It just kind of stuck out and uh, was bothering me. So that's for the top shelf there. And on this um, second shelf here, I have moved the bookends that were on the entertainment side over here. And I just have a few um, little books there. Uh, kind of, I guess you would say these are, were, are like uh, spiritual self-help type books so that's what they are um, I still have the two little aqua boxes that I have uh, maps in one and I have some um, stickers and labels stuff for scrapbooking in the other 
and I probably should just label those but I haven't got around to doing that yet on the last two shelves here um, you probably noticed that the bottom one really hasn't changed much at all I still have the two big boxes uh, the Scentsy Warmer and the picture with me and my aunt and my mom there. Um, on this one, um, yeah, I still had the picture of me and my grandkids. And I also had this little um, antique box um, that I got from my grandmother. I keep uh, extra business cards and things in there. Um, and most of the books on this shelf are all to deal with... Uh, decluttering organizing and decor and in the back there behind there the picture um, and you probably notice that the um, some of the books are turned around so that the paper shows and not the binding and again that's for the same reason I um, turned that feng shui book around I don't want to see all those extra colors there so um yeah that's that okay here on the top two shelves here the top of it very top of it is exactly the same i still have my mom and dad's antique radio up there and my little statue of david and my little bust of diana the huntress um on the second shelf there or i should say the top shelf really um i've switched my lord of the rings uh books and movies on the one side with the Twilight um, books and movies on the other. And I just added a couple of little candles there in the aqua so that I could interject that color a little bit up there. Uh, because on this side, I don't have nearly as much in that. On these next couple of shelves, um, again, this shelf here hasn't changed too much at all. It has all my Diana Gabaldon books and all the Outlander movies uh, that have been um, available for sale so far. I am eagerly anticipating um, the next season uh, and also her next book, which is coming out very soon. I've only been waiting seven years for the next book. Uh, so that's pretty much the same on that shelf. I did put my little C there instead. I think, um, it was previously on that shelf up there, but I am trying to, um, spread out the color there. So that's that one. And on this shelf here, I've actually swapped it around the DVD player and was on this side and the basket, uh, was on that side. Um, I've been able to streamline a little bit of the cords there, tie them up there. So the modem is hang is behind my uh, my honey there, and um, I also added um, this artificial plant there as well to give it a little bit of pop of green, and also kind of uh, goes with the other side. This bottom shelf here has stayed basically the same. The only thing I did different was to remove the um, extra scented wax warmer that was there. So that's it for this side. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, I hope you liked this video and got some tips for styling your own bookshelves. If you liked it, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. See you in the next video.